Hi, we're Team Web Sprouts, and by creating the guide that we wish we'd had when we first started using the Impact Framework, we believe we will empower other web developers to use the Impact Framework to measure and report on the carbon impact of their website. We've created um, a pack of resources which should allow web developers to use the Impact Framework if they're new to it, including a video series, an article, prototypes of helpful web tools, and a launch pack to tie these resources together. The reason why we've gone for this multimodal approach is we recognise that different people respond to different uh, modes of communication and it also allows us to tailor how we present our information um, to the medium that's, that's best suited to getting different kinds of information across. Hi, I'm Rachel from the UK and I co-wrote an article which hopefully should help people not make the same mistakes I made when I first started to use the impact framework. I dove straight headfirst into writing a manifest file without really understanding how the different um, parts related to my project. Um, and this guide goes through how to make those decisions before you start writing. The launch kit is an easy on-ramp into the impact framework. The idea is that someone interested in measuring the environmental impacts of software could request more information and receive this digital download with all the resources they need to get started understanding and using the impact framework. For those who learn best by watching, we created a YouTube playlist with several videos that help you get started using the Green Software Impact Framework. The first video in the series helps those who are new to the Impact Framework get started. It accompanies a GitHub repo with code to run your first manifest file and understand the output. We've also begun mapping all of the existing plugins in the Impact Framework to identify their inputs, outputs, expected data format, and a description of what they do. The idea is that someone could query this JSON file to find the plugins they need to construct their pipeline. To take the future needs of the Impact Framework into a little further consideration, we made a hugging face space with a couple of prototypes on things that could supplement the advancement of the Impact Framework. The first is a submission form, which would ideally complement an Impact Framework plugin registry. The idea behind this is that it would standardize the format for any potential plugin builder to identify plugin name, description, where the code lives, and what the inputs and outputs are, including the units of measurement, examples, and whether they're required or optional. This submission form would also surface the plugin data and assumptions built into each plugin along with their sources to create transparency and auditability into the calculations the plugin makes. With this sort of information, the idea is that a user could also find compatible input and output plugins that might follow or precede this plugin in the pipeline. To continue that line of thinking, we built the Impact Framework Pipeline Builder. The idea here is that you could select the plugin you wanted to use and configure it based on the information that was submitted to the registry via the prototype we just saw. So for example, if my cloud provider was Amazon and my instance was M5 large, I could submit this configuration see sample outputs along with their units and generate the manifest component for that plugin or add another plugin as I see fit. Lastly, we just wanted to thank a number of people who were instrumental in helping us through the impact framework and helping us to build our final submission. First and foremost to Alex Urbanson, whose IF webpage plugins repo and assistance in our daily calls was instrumental in helping us understand the attributional model of measuring a website's carbon footprint. And last but certainly not least, to a number of people at Mozilla, as well as the Green Web Foundation, who are willing to take time out of their busy day to answer some of our questions. While all of the opinions and approaches expressed in this project are our own, these folks were a big help in steering us in the right direction. Last but not least, we want to say thanks to the Green Software Foundation for organizing this hackathon. We learned a ton, we had a lot of fun, and benefited greatly from your advice as well. While the hackathon is over, we're excited to keep plugging away with the Impact Framework and in the green software space in general.